Good afternoon, everybody. I just like to say to you, and I hope that we can for you and be very goddamn good. Now, at this present time, if I can say to you, because that's what I'm doing in this neighborhood. Good afternoon, everybody. I just like to say, if you come to Corner Project, that's if it's okay. But if you cannot do so, believe me, it's all right. We won't get upset. We won't get uptight. Still wish you have a great day. Ready? Ba, 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 ba. New York. I found out about Corner Project through syringe, you know, exchange. I was into heroin heavy, very heavy, but that's how I got to um, know Jamie Favaro. Back in like 2005, I met her, you know, doing outreach out of her bag in front of the Port Authority. So I began working at the George Washington Bridge Outreach Program in 2004 and it was apparent very quickly that there were a lot of injection drug users in the neighborhood um, who had no access to clean sterile syringes. There were a lot of aha moments, someone coming and saying, I feel, I, I can't believe what I just did, I just picked up a needle off the ground in the park and used it. Like I didn't have a clean set with me. And also there was a client who came in so ashamed and distraught because he had just shot up with toilet water from the bus station bathroom and in the in the, the toilets in the bathroom they don't have tanks you have to actually take the water out of the bowl um, and that was like a like we're done this isn't happening anymore <laughs> you all right yep, yeah, one second. all right yeah please time's up okay. Jamie worked for um, a place that was based out of the old port upstairs it was downstairs in the lower level and it was like um, a community, it was like a community type of program help people out that, you know, was in the street. It was nothing like harm reduction like we have here. What she would do is after she was done working there, she would come out in the you know, late afternoon evenings and pass out syringes. And um, I would be out in the street hustling and like I got to like start helping her pass out syringes. I keep them in uh, like a newspaper stand. I mean, uh, what we were doing was basically illegal at the time, but I mean, I didn't care. I was a nurse and I lost, I, when I came out of, I lost my nursing license, I went to prison. So I'm like a big advocate on, on education and, and, you know, safe injection, things like that. I mean, I know from, I mean, you know, going to school, but also too, I'm on the other side of the fence being an IV drug user myself. I mean, I used to help people on the street, like everybody knew I was a nurse. So they would come to me for like, you know, wound care, abscess care, somebody got stabbed, somebody got shot. So, you know, like instead of going into a hospital or something like that, you know, they would come to me. So that's, I got like a reputation for like, you know, doing like street type of like care. So that's what I was doing. Everybody's welcome. Come to Corner Project sometime this week. It'll be something different, something special, something new, unique. You know, once you come, you won't want to leave. Tell them about me, bro. He's our representative. He's like the top CEO, the founder. He, he's hard to be reached because he's all around the town. <laughs> when somebody walks through the dropping center, I'm the first person they see. Um, if they need us any supplies, they can ask me for supplies. Um, we have a phone. We have a computer that people get on the internet, connect with the families if they have to. We provide different referrals. If somebody needs help with Medicaid, we have a person who helps us with Medicaid. Uh, we have a bathroom, we have a shower, and we have laundry services that the participants can use, you know. We got coffees, we have groups, we provide them food. All the staff over here at Corner Project are trained to use Narcan, and most of us are trained on how to um, train other people to use Narcan, so I'm basically a deputized Narcan trainer. We do community Narcan training every Tuesday and Thursday at 1 p.m., so anybody from the community who wants to come and get Narcan trained, we'll give them to them for free. We teach them how to use it. There's been a few times where somebody has been overdosing in the bathroom. There's like a whole protocol that we follow. 
The first time it was like super scary. I was shaking, but I'm like I was glad I was trained because even though I was scared, I knew what to do. So um, we administered Narcan. We called 911. We cleared the whole office out. Um, but it was awesome. Like once we saw the person come back um, from the overdose, like I felt happy about myself. I guess the best part of Corner Project to me is the different kind of people that I see and the different kinds of life. And I love to hear the stories, like where they came from and how they got here. You know. I feel like uh, it's super important for them to have a safe place because um, if they go to any other office, they'll get kicked out or they'll get looked at different because I guess they're homeless. We don't do that. We don't judge them. We try to help them the best we can and we always try to meet them where they're at. We go into um, tunnels, into parks like this at night because our shifts are at night. And we find people that don't know about Corner Project. We give them education about Hep C, about HIV, about overdose prevention. That's where we, you know, we try to fit in the, listen, don't mix drugs, don't do this, don't do that, things they don't know. Then we say, listen, we're from Corner Project. We have a drop-in center, we have a shower, we have food, we have laundry. Now, when they come the next day, or maybe month after, and they see that we're, we weren't lying, and they see, you know, they usually, they stay for a while. They drink coffee, and they use the bathroom if they have to. Um, they go, they stay for a group, and by the time you know it, they're there, like, almost every day. You know, they, they, they just, right, am I right? <laughs> yeah, they, they start hanging out there. And that's how so many, so many people have started because, because of outreach. <laughs> My brother died of an overdose. And I always carry this, which is naloxone. I was trained, while I was a peer, I was trained. And I thought, I always had it. Once um, I was in my house, a friend of, of my mother's, she hadn't seen him in a while, and he was obnoxious. So all of a sudden, we're in the kitchen, and I, I go up, I go to, to the living room, and I said, Ma, he fell asleep? Oh my God, let him, let him sleep, he's obnoxious. When my mother said, no, my God, he's blue. So I ran up to him, and when I touched him, he was stiff. And I said, oh my God, he died. My first instinct was to run. But I said, I'm in my house. I mean, where am I gonna run to? <laughs> you know, and I thought, I, I told him, I said, Ma, does he use? She says, yes, he uses heroin. So I ran to my, I ran to my um, drawer and I took out my bag and I took out the naloxone kit. I opened it up and I gave him one dose of naloxone. He did not, still did not respond. I gave him the other um, dose of naloxone and he started gurgling. And I started screaming, he's alive, he's alive. So by the time the ambulance came, they said, how did you get naloxone? How did you, I told them I worked at Corner Project and they congratulated me. And I was like, you know, wow, I, I just thought about my brother. If I would have been there, he was living in Miami, if I would have been there when my brother overdosed, maybe he'd still be here with me. Yeah. Free candles. Candles are all time. Use them. Free candles. What do we do is we pack up the bags, we deliver the bags, we educate the community, and we feel good that our community is safer. I get rid of 56,000 of these a month. 150 venues that stretch from 135th Street and Broadway to 220th and Broadway. So, woo, we've got a few miles worth of condoms laid across Manhattan. Non-traditional means like not a clinical setting. I don't go to pharmacies or delis because they sell 
they sell condoms already. So I'm going to places that don't usually have condoms. Nail salons, beauty salons, barber shops, tattoo parlors. Around here, there are a lot of um, money wire transfers, cell phone stores. And the good thing about it is that you wouldn't expect that when you walk in and you see a bowl. And I've seen it too and I've heard it. I love that. When I hear someone say, that store has condoms. So young kids that I've run into, they don't have money, but they go into the store and they grab a handful. That makes me feel like, oh, awesome. Somebody got them, you know, and they're free. My name is Lynn, and I've been in this community about 40 years. And as a community member, I noticed my neighborhood was cleaner. I noticed that a lot of intravenous drug users were no longer loitering or hanging out in certain places that they were. And then two of my good friends came to a program. They were talking about a project, a project. And I'm like, what project? Finally, they brought me here. And when I walked in that door, I was so impressed with what I saw. My next question is, how do I volunteer? How do I help? Because I didn't know that I was a harm reductionist. They taught me everything I know. That's my, I don't judge, I help. These are things that I already knew, but I didn't know that I was doing it, you know? So they taught me, and um, I'm proud to be helping and, and giving a, a human touch to people that sometimes we forget, you know? We tend to live our own and we just worry about ourselves. You know, there's people that need our help, and I love that. Here at the project, we treat people with respect, um, it, with love. This might be the only place they get some attention, and I like that. I, I see the difference in my neighborhood. This population, a lot of people walk by and ignore. And here, the human treatment, the, the, the family atmosphere, like someplace safe, that's the word I'm looking for. This is a safe place. It changes lives for the better. Washington Heights Corner Project is a place where people who use drugs are welcome, where they can come and get essential services, and where their lives matter in a different way uh, than often how people treat people who use drugs elsewhere in society. Because when people come into the Corner Project, they find a sense of belonging, a sense of community. And what that does is it tells somebody who is using drugs that your life is not defined just by this one moment when you're injecting drugs into your body or you're using drugs or you're smoking crack or whatever you're doing. Your life is more than that. And if I can help you rebuild your sense of self-esteem because you're participating in a community of people who care about you and who believe in you, then people start to believe in themselves and they start to see their potential and feel empowered by that. And as a result, they've created a very warm and welcoming space that teaches a different message about who the drug user is in society. This place, this place means home to me. This place, you know, when I come into this place, it doesn't, it's, I'm, I'm coming to work, but it's like I'm coming to my second home. I, I love this place. I don't know what, where I would be right now if this place wasn't here. I don't know if I would have been sitting here talking to you right now, if I would have been doing the work that I'm doing right now. I'm, I'm so grateful. This place means everything to me. It's, it's, it's so important, and, you know, it's not just for the paycheck that I do it. It's, 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 it's because it's something that I feel that I have to do. It's something in my heart, you know, that I'm obligated, I feel I'm obligated to do now. And that's to help people and give back to my community because I am who I am today because of, because of Corner Project. I want to give back to Corner Project and to a community, to what Corner Project gave to me. That's why, that's why I am, I am the way I am, you know, trying to, trying to get it into places where nobody goes because I want to find those people that are afraid like I was, to go out into the world. I want to find them and I want to tell them that there is a better way, that they can still use and be a productive member of society. I want to find them and, and I will eventually. Not, all, not everybody, but little by little, I've been finding them. Corner Project to me means life. Corner Project to me means life. It means we're in the business of saving lives. <laughs>